We are now going to look at the Agile Methods approach to system development. Now, this approach to system development is more focused on effective teamwork. Basically, that the team works really well together and obviously have good channels of communication. And they weigh this over the, the more traditional approach where we need to have a lot of documentation. So we're trying to cut down on documentation, no feasibility study, no requirement reports. So time saved there is more focused on actually developing the project. As the name suggests, Agile, okay, it's meant to be a quick form of developing a system. Okay, and one of the things that makes it quick is that it doesn't have all this documentation. We're actually going straight in and working on parts of the project. The other feature of the quick development of Agile methods is that once a part of the project is complete, it immediately is implemented into the actual information system. Okay, so every time a new part gets to, uh, completed, the system gets updated and a new version of it is released. Okay, while other parts are still being worked on. Okay. In, from the project management team. Okay, so the information system goes through multiple versions until it is finally completed, but as it is being completed in different versions, they are implemented in the meantime. In order for the Agile method approach to be successful, team management, organization, and communication are paramount. The team needs to be communicating and communicating frequently, okay, on how the development is going. It also provides a lot of flexibility in that requirements may change, okay, and outcomes may change, and they can make these changes to the actual information system that's being developed on the go. So it's a very flexible uh, way of developing a system. Okay, ways the teams may uh, have the actual organization is they may organize scheduled team meetings or they may do it through video conferencing and other types of social media in order to be communicating with each other if they are far apart. Okay, but communication is paramount. So let's graphically look at how agile methods may work. Okay, so what we have first is we need to be generating ideas. Okay, so essentially the team would need to get together, discuss different ideas about what the new system could be and determine a specific course of action. Okay. From here, they need to delegate certain responsibilities. The team needs to be divided up and we need to know basically who has what role and what parts of the project are they all working on. Once everyone's got their roles, okay, we can begin designing the system. Okay, so everyone's working on their different parts. While the system is uh, being designed, there still needs to be team meetings, okay? Not necessarily face-to-face, -face, but they need to be continually communicating with each other, okay? So at these meetings, they'd give updates on the progress of each section, okay? And information would be on the development would be being shared between users. And as said before, they may be deciding on changing ideas at this point too, which you can do in this method because it is very flexible, okay? And then after a meeting, they get back to designing, okay? So that cycle would be occurring constantly throughout development. After this, certain parts would get need and arm um, completion. Okay, that would need to be tested by the group. They need to basically evaluate what's going on. Does it meet the needs that they established at the beginning of this project? Okay, they need to test it and make sure it's okay. Once it is okay, that part can then be implemented. Okay, that part is implemented as the new part of the information system, and each time a part gets evaluated and implemented, it creates a new version of the information system. Okay, so the part gets incorporated into the information system, it creates a new version, and then participants need to be updated in order to know how to use this new part of the system. Okay, so that new part gets created, but the rest of the team then continues working on the a project. There would need to be another team meeting because those people who completed their part, they need to get now allocated into another part that's being worked on by other members of the team in order to keep this agile method speedy. We're not just gonna have someone now sitting around doing nothing. They need to be reallocated, now working on a different part and aiding in the uh, development of this project. And so essentially, all the parts then uh, get released uh, when they are completed, each time creating a new version until finally we have the full system developed and implemented. Okay, so I hope this gives you an understanding of the Agile method approach to system development. Essentially, it is very flexible and very fast. Okay, the system is worked on by a team, continually communicating with each other. All team members are working on different parts, and when a part is completed, it creates a new version of the information system, which is then uh, used 
okay, while other parts are still being developed. Team members are then re-aligned uh, with different duties every time parts are developed, okay, until eventually we have the full, all parts of the system developed, creating the new information system.